Today, we embark on a journey to explore the world of engineering analysis using ANSYS Workbench Static Structural Module. Our mission is to calculate the normal stress on a selected example from our website. But, we won't stop there. We'll go a step further and verify these results using the formula calculator provided on our esteemed website. Let's dive right in. Let's take first problem on normal stress. Bar area is 45 mm by 20 mm. Its length 1 meter. Tensile load of 45 kN. We will evaluate stress and elongation of this stainless steel bar. Let's start on CIS. Open ANSYS space claim. Create cross section. End sketch. Provide length 1000 mm. Now let's check dimensions. Twenty millimeters, forty five millimeters, one thousand millimeters. Geometry is completed. We will define material properties. Click here to add new material. Select isotropic elasticity. Select desired unit for Young's modulus. For mild steel. Young's modulus is 200 GPa. Define mu. Bulk and shear modulus will be calculated based on mu and modulus of elasticity. You can also calculate this bulk modulus and shear modulus using calculator provided on website. Check both values. Do the same for shear modulus. Compare both values. Next, open ANSYS Mechanical Editor. Assign material. Generate auto mesh. Let's define element size and regenerate mesh. Define support at one end. Apply force at second end.
which is 45 kN. Check the force direction. Solve this setup. Check deformation. Check stress. Evaluate results. This is stress singularity, which is not real stress at support. Let's check the stress on the bar using probe tool. Check deformation. Let's compare simulated results with calculations. Enter this area value. Compare calculated stress with finite element result. Both are same. Let's calculate elongation. Compare this value. Take maximum value. Both are almost same. You can perform additional exercises available on the website and then compare your calculated results with the simulated ones. Let's animate deformed shape. Thank you for watching this tutorial.